Jim, it was Rutgers last year where Cade, when Cade kind of became the quarterback. Where have you seen him grow the most kind of since then, a year ago? I just in all areas, but uh, it's just, he's been uh, consistently good since he's uh, since he's played. You know, in, in, in games, I mean, I think the dirt, the, the, the ability to, to drive the team for points that's uh, that's getting really impressive. Uh, don't know exactly what that percentage is, but it's it's got to be pretty high. Uh, and he's uh, just o overall uh, confidence, ability, time on task. Reps, just, just like anybody, when you when you play in a game and you realize you know you can do this. It's not, as, not as hard as it seemed, and uh, get better at football by playing football. I just think about all the guys who played this past weekend. Uh, just to have that the feeling and that knowledge that yeah, I can do this, and then when they go to the practice field, uh, you take that experience and it makes you better. What the, you know the feeling in the, in the game, and then you can replicate that in practice. It's, uh, make uh, make big strides. I mean, as you step back and look at it, why does your team look so much better in so many areas this year so far? Uh, you know, the biggest the biggest is just how hard they're playing, uh, and they're having fun doing it. Good things happen. Good things happen when you when you play hard. Energy, you know, energy just finds the ball. Whether you're on defense or whether you're on offense, the energy, the ball finds you. But, uh, both. That's the play of your secondary so far through three games, and what you've seen from them in the new system. I, I thought Javon Green had his had his best game. Uh, great to see him get an interception. Vince uh, as well. I, I thought uh, for the most part, I mean, we were, we were tackling. We were we had guys covered up, running to the football. Um, it's been uh, been really good. Vince, DJ, DJ Turner, um, and Dax continues to play at a super high level. And Brad Hawkins, RJ Moten, really, really good. Playing, just playing with a, playing with a lot of want to, playing with a lot of, a lot of energy, uh, playing really hard. You see it, uh, see it in the secondary. You see it really at all positions. You see it in the offensive line, uh, uh, and the tight ends, and in, in the, in the receivers. Some of the, the hustle and the, the downfield blocking, uh, coming from Hayes, you know, 15, 20 yards downfield, or. Roman Wilson, uh, Eric All, Schoonmaker had some tremendous uh, blocks on the touchdown type of blocks, and they're occurring, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 yards, 50, they had a 50 yard block downfield. Uh, just, uh, like I said, good things happen when you, when you play hard. Has Ronnie had his surgery yet? Not yet. Okay. Brandon? Obviously, the offensive line set a really strong start to the season. Where do you think Sharon Moore's impact has been felt most in that unit? Yeah, he's uh, he's done a heck of a job. Um, really playing. Yeah, there, there's there's a position. Huh? You could say that one. I mean, that's not historically known as a fun position to play, uh, but they look like they're having a lot of fun. By their meetings, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's engaged, it's energetic, I mean, it's loud, it's a lot of guys are laughing, and, you know, they're enjoying it. Uh, same on the practice field, and day after day, uh, it's a real cohesive unit there that's that's developed, and they enjoy each other's company, and they like, and, uh, they built a lot of confidence in themselves and each other. I think Sharon has had a tremendous amount to do with that. Characteristics that you recognize in teams coached by Greg Schiano? It's hard, uh, you know, tough. Uh, guys that play all out, play, you know, uh, play together, don't make mistakes, uh, execute, discipline teams. You know, 
all, all the good stuff.